Literally up until uh, three years ago, we had never seen a pig here. But since that time, we have noticed and seen uh, more and more feral pigs coming onto the property. The pigs have been moving into the property along the river and also out of adjacent timber areas. My name's Scott Keyworth. Uh, I'm a beef producer in an area called Bayala, which is near Gunning in the southern tablelands of New South Wales. I've been farming in the district uh, for 24 years, managing a self-replacing beef herd of about 200 cows. Uh, my main concerns associated with feral pigs is probably not just the damage they're actually doing to my pastures, but I am very concerned in terms of the potential threat they pose in relation to the transmission of disease. So I'm paying a lot of attention to this because I really want to ensure that I can manage that risk the best possible way, but I can't do that on my own. We've been working through local land services trying to get an understanding of where feral pigs are actually within the district. Then we, recently, some three weeks ago, we ran a, an information day here, getting expert advice in relation to what we need to be doing to manage feral pig populations. And certainly the advice that came out of the uh, information day was that if we're going to be successful in managing feral pigs, then we'd need to establish a coordinated baiting and control program. So I spoke to my immediate neighbours and they spoke to their neighbours and we followed up and we ended up with uh, a large number of landholders in the Baila area being prepared to participate. LLS then organised the, uh, the helicopter and specialist shooters to uh, fly and uh, they were very successful in terms of removing a large number of pigs and other feral animals during that operation. It's really important for me to coordinate with my neighbours because neither foxes nor pigs actually respect boundary fences and if I am controlling the animals only on my property and my neighbours aren't, the nature of those animals are that they'll come in from my neighbour's property onto mine and maintain risk to my business. I believe that these risks through feral animals can be managed and as a community we will be successful but for us to be successful we need to work together driven by good information and the programs implemented in a timely fashion. I am very hopeful that if those measures continue to be implemented and that we improve our coordination, that we will be in a position for actually effectively managing feral animal populations in our area and reduce the risk of exotic diseases uh, for landholders across Biala and the broader Southern Tablelands.